Welcome to Open Mind with Clairvoyant Marietta and myself, Julia Tienes, in the show where we discuss different subjects of a more spiritual nature. Each week we will look at topics that we have found people have become very curious about over the last couple of years. And tonight's topic, we are discussing allopathic versus natural medicine. Tonight we're just talking openly, keeping an open mind. Marietta, to start the show off, I want you to tell us, do we all possess this gift of intuition? Yeah, I do believe so. It's like a gift, it's like a talent, yes. Tonight's topic, we're actually discussing something very exciting, and that is our own energy field, which we call the aura. Tonight we're talking about karma and reincarnation. Tonight we're going to be talking about haunted houses and how to cleanse your house. Marietta, this is probably your forte. Yeah. <laughs> we're talking about relationships. Topic. We're looking at the other side and talking to people on the other side. So Marietta, tell us a little bit, how does this other side look like? It's very much that it's maybe like in the Bible that there's seven heavens or more than heavens. And Marietta chose a few guests out of her audience that she felt she had a connection with. And talking about fulfillment and relationships and communication in general, let's turn to our studio audience because I'm sure they really want to ask Marietta a few questions. I have the feeling that this woman was very, very close to you, even mm. like a sister yeah. or like a twin. That's right. Very, very close. Mm. She will come through. She did come through. Your dreams are much, much more vivid. But it's time for you to leave that behind it and say that has been a part of your life, but you may not allow that to darken your life and to darken your light. There's a very strong energy of him in your auric field, in your energy space. Mm -hmm. Is he ill? He was. The energy field is very clear, very clean. Just at the outskirts of the energy field is a bit of a dent like this. But my feeling is that happened when you were very, very small. So that's just like, it's part of who you are. It might be that your mother dropped you out of the pram <laughs> or something like that. But that's what I see. It's, it's something what is happening here, somebody from the other side must be attaching himself to your my son. My father-in-law. Okay. Apparently. This is a bit of a possession thing. Haven't had this ever, but I know what is happening. I'm frightened of because you're here for a reason. And I could see it when you sat there and I said to Julia, what is happening here? Is this somebody who belongs to somebody or what is happening here? We've because been fighting I haven't a long time. I don't deal with possession a lot anymore, and it's not really frightening because it's not dark. So a lot of people don't really know what the term karma means. What Can you explain that for us a little bit? Karma is very much a word that comes from the East and was carried into the West in the early 1950s. And karma is really cause and effect. In other words, whatever you build up or whatever you live, it's like really you reap what you sow that he's lying I can see him shaking I can see his head going so this was not an easy heart attack need to be sad that she's not around anymore because now being in the afterlife she can so much more help because she's not restricted to a physical body and you can stay connected because she has much more vision and much more energy. Marietta we thank you very much and thank you to the audience. Have a wonderful evening. Till next time, keep an open mind. Yeah, she said about the aura being a, a green blue color, which I know it is because I work with a biofeedback machine oh, that yes? projects the color on the computer screen, and that is my color, so she's quite accurate. And the dent in my aura, she said, at the age of two, and I, there was quite a traumatic experience at the age of two which is probably still there, although I don't carry on, I hold on to it too much emotionally, but I know it's there, so I thought she was quite accurate with what she said.